तो ये डेप्थ एक्चुअली थ्री एच है जो कि है नहीं तो हमारे लिक्विड का सरफेस बस ऐसा है फिर से उसी इक्वेशन को यूज करके हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम हियर अगेन विथ ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स अगेन इट इज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑन हाइड्रोस्टैटिक्स बेसिकली एंड इट इज बेस्ड ऑन लिक्विड फील्ड इन अ रोटेटिंग सिलेंडर दिस इज द क्वेश्चन अ सिलेंड्रिकल कंटेनर ऑफ बेस रेडियस आर एंड हाइट एच द हाइट ऑफ द कंटेनर इज एच एंड रेडियस ऑफ द बेस इज ए आर इज ओपन एट द टॉप द कंटेनर इज ओपन एट द टॉप इट इज कंप्लीटली फिल्ड विथ अ लिक्विड एंड सेट रोटेटिंग अबाउट इट सेंट्रल वर्टिकल एक्सेस इट इज फिल्ड टू द ब्रिम by some liquid some opaque liquid which is not transparent and it is spun like this about the central vertical axis when the spinning angular speed is omega not the bottom surface of the container just gets exposed when you spin the cylinder liquid actually spills out of the cylinder it is thrown out if you go on increasing the angular speed more and more liquid will be thrown out at certain value of omega that is equal to omega not the question says that the bottom surface of the cylinder just gets exposed that means you are able to see the some part of bottom surface of the cylinder okay this happens at angular speed omega not value of which is not given in the question but now the question says if the spinning speed is increased further to 2 omega not how much area of the bottom surface will get exposed how much area of the bottom surface will be visible if you are looking into the cylinder from the top so how much area will be basically uh, not having any liquid over it that is the question i am getting out of the screen so that you can capture the question and give it a try on your own do try it many of you i think will be able to do it also so here is the situation uh, many of you must have studied that the actual uh, surface of the liquid the top surface of the liquid is actually a paraboloid but if i draw a cross section then the liquid surface has a cross section in the shape of a parabola if you revolve this parabola about this white line you get the actual three dimensional surface but okay let us keep it to two dimension this is the situation if you are increasing the angular speed liquid is getting spilled out and at some angular speed omega not this is what you see that complete liquid has been removed from the center that means this part has become just visible why it has why the liquid surface has uh, become like this it is not very difficult to understand you have studied that if you accelerate a container which is filled with liquid the liquid surface actually gets inclined it is somewhat similar if you are spinning it there is an accelerated frame and the centrifugal force in this particular frame tries to push the liquid outward so that ejects some amount of liquid from the cylinder and the liquid surface this surface is not a straight line it is curved this is yet to be proved i will prove it in a simple manner fundamental manner uh, there are many ways of proving it there are many ways of writing the equation of this surface i will take one fundamental approach first i will do that then i'll uh, go on to solve the problem uh let us imagine let us imagine a uh, cylindrical element of liquid here at the bottom of the container students please don't get confused this is not a foreign object i am drawing it here separately it is just an element of the liquid only liquid is present here right and i am just imagining the motion of one cylindrical element of the liquid right how is it moving this yellow colored cylindrical liquid how is it moving it is rotating like this as the container goes this is white line this yellow colored cylindrical piece of liquid that i am considering and it is going around like this so you all know that if any object uh, rotates then there must be some radial force acting on it 
otherwise rotation is just not possible. So, what I want to think is who is providing the proper radial force to this yellow colored liquid element so that it can rotate. Let us assume that the area of cross section of this cylinder is delta s. I am considering a cylindrical liquid element. लिक्विड का ही ये टुकड़ा है जो मैं इमेजिन कर रहा हूं यहां बैठ के क्लास में है ना डेल्टा एस इज द एरिया लेटर से ओके फाइन एंड लेटर से लेंथ ऑफ दिस एलिमेंट दैट आई हैव कंसीडर्ड इज एक्स फाइन फॉर द सेक ऑफ सिंपलिसिटी आई एम इग्नोरिंग एटमॉस्फेरिक प्रेशर दो यू कैन टेक इट बट इट विल कीप माई इक्वेशन सिंपल इवन इफ यू कंसिडर इट इट विल हैव नो अदर इफेक्ट एक्चुअली so i am just ignoring it let us say there is no air there is no atmosphere just for simplicity so here on this side on this side there is no pressure because here there is no liquid the question says the question says this place has been exposed the bottom surface of the cylinder has been exposed but here there is liquid this liquid is will exert force here how much force pressure into delta s if p is the pressure over here right fine <laughs> so uh, on this cylinder of liquid the net radial force that is acting is p delta s p delta s what is p at this particular point if i consider that height of the liquid is y then what will be pressure here the atmospheric pressure plus rho g y i have not written atmospheric pressure actually it will cancel out from both sides if you do write it you can write it so i am assuming there is no atmosphere for simplicity so here the pressure is rho g y if the depth here is y then the pressure at this particular point is rho g y so this p is nothing but rho g y into delta s so this is the radial force that this piece of yellow colored piece of liquid is experiencing and because of this radial force it is able to it is able to rotate like this so this radial force this radial force rho g y delta s must be equal to m omega square r where r is the radius of circular path of the center of mass of this cylindrical liquid center of mass g agar main aisa likh raha hu if you if you just don't want to do any integration and all you can think like this if this rod is rotating with some angular speed omega uh, center of mass is a point that is rotating in a circle of this radius r so acceleration of center of mass is omega square r and the force on this object must be mass times acceleration of center of mass force external force on a body is mass times acceleration of its center of mass so if you are considering this yellow colored liquid element the horizontal radial force that we see on it is only p delta s which is equal to this much and this is responsible for rotation of this yellow colored thing so this force must be equal to mass times acceleration of center of mass of this yellow colored thing what is the acceleration of center of mass of this yellow colored thing answer is this yellow colored thing has center of mass here right at the center and this center of mass is moving in a circle of radius x by 2 so i will write m m means mass of this liquid which is rho delta s into x what is delta s into x delta s into x is volume volume into rho is mass this is mass m omega square m omega square into x by 2 why x by 2 because center of mass is going in a circle of radius x by 2 so i have written m omega square r where r is the radius of circular motion circular path of the center of mass so delta s cancels out rho cancels out if you consider atmospheric pressure it will also get cancelled out here you will write atmospheric pressure into delta s is force and here in case of pressure at this point you will write atmospheric pressure plus rho g y it will get cancelled out do not worry about it so here you can see that this simplifies to y is equal to uh, omega square x square 
by 2 g rho, I am so sorry, is it right, rho cancels out, g goes here, 2 comes here, x square, delta s cancels out and this is the equation, okay that is fine. So, y is equal to omega square by 2 g into x square. Now, if I assume that this point is my origin of coordinate system and this x axis and this y axis, then what do you think? What does this relation tell you? What is this relation actually? It is the equation of this blue colored curve. Why? Because this origin, I move x distance along x axis and then I move y distance along y axis. I reach this point. So, actually x comma y is nothing but coordinate of a point on this blue curve. So, this relation is nothing but uh, equation of the curve. So, y is some constant into x square which is a parabola. So, this curve is a parabola. If you rotate it in three dimension, of course, uh, it will become something like this and that is how the water surface will look like. I hope you understand this. Okay. So, the question says when omega is equal to omega naught, then situation actually looks like this that I have drawn here. The, this point gets just exposed. That means vertex of the parabola falls over here. So, according to the question, uh, value of y is h. h is a given number in the question that height of the tank is h. Value of y is h when omega is omega naught. And at that particular instant, when value of y is h, x is r. When x is r, value of y becomes h. So, <coughs> I hope you understand this. Question says that when omega is equal to omega naught, this gets exposed. So, this gets exposed means some liquid has been thrown out. If some liquid has been thrown out, then The liquid surface will become like this only. The liquid is at the brim of the container. If you increase the omega, more liquid will be thrown out. So, when value of x is r, value of y is h, h is a given number, r is a given number. So, if you substitute this, you get the value of, you get the value of omega naught. Omega naught is that angular speed at which the central point of the bottom surface gets exposed. Now, the question says that if you increase the angular speed further to 2 omega naught, how much area of this bottom surface will get exposed? That is the question. So, let us move on further. What actually happens if you increase the value of omega, then the slope of the parabola at every point will also increase. What is slope dy by dx? So, this is a constant, constant into 2x. If you increase the value of omega, this parabola will get steeper, more steeper at same coordinate x. So, actually when you increase, when you increase the angular speed, what happens is the parabolic shape will become even a steeper. Just, just be with me for a couple of more minutes and everything will become crystal clear. Just be patient students. This is the actual container. This is the actual container, white colored. White colored thing is the actual container. And the liquid surface, the liquid surface will actually be like this inside the container. This blue colored thing, this blue colored thing and this part will get exposed. H had the container been of greater depth, just imagine that container is of higher depth such that at angular speed 2 omega naught, let us imagine that a container is there with us which has got higher depth and at speed 2 omega naught, it just gets exposed, the bottom surface just gets exposed. 
So, if we were having a container of higher depth and we increase the angular speed to 2 omega naught, then the shape of the surface would become like this just as we did the analysis just now. So, in that particular case, in that particular case for value of x equal to r, value of y will be y dash which I do not know, but I have just deduced one equation that y is omega square by 2 g x square. So, omega square by 2 g x square, x square is r square. What I am saying is, if I have more gehrai ka container, hota, this may 2 omega naught angular speed karne se just center point expose hota. This ka meaning kya hota? Ki when x is equal to r, value of y is equal to height of the container, isn't it? The same equation can be used. Now, according to the question, this omega is 2 omega naught. So, it becomes actually, if you put 2 omega naught here, it will become 2 omega naught square r square by g. And the value of omega naught is something that we already know. It is under root 2 g h by r. So, if you substitute it, this is what you get. You get 4 h. What I am trying to say is, if angular speed is increased to 2 omega naught, then you will require a container of height 4 h, so that the bottom surface just gets exposed. So, this, this, this helps you in visualizing the shape of the liquid surface. Actually, our container is only up to this depth only, but had it been a container of 4 times the depth of given container, then in that case, the liquid surface would have appeared like this, okay, that is fine, but actually our container is only like this. So, this, this whole thing will get exposed because the surface will go like this only. So, what is the value of x here? What is the value of x here? The value of y at this particular point is 3h, I hope you understand. This is 4h and this h, actual depth of the container. So, this is 3h. So, what is this value x when this y coordinate is 3h? I am taking this as origin, this as x axis, this y axis. So, I will ask my equation when x is equal to, uh, what is the value of x when y is equal to 3h? I, I hope you are getting my point. So, the equation equation in terms of x in terms of x is actually the equation of the curve in terms of x is omega square by 2 g into x square. So, what I have done here is I am asking the value of x when y is 3 h and omega is equal to 2 omega naught. So, y is 3 h omega is 2 omega naught means it is 2 times 2 g h by r square, please do the necessary substitution and I want to know the value of x. If you simplify this, you will get the value of x as 3 by 4 into r. So, actual container is this and it will have this much area exposed. This is a circle of radius x, x is 3 by 4 r. So, you can easily write the area exposed, area exposed will be pi x square that is your answer because, uh, no I made a mistake, I am so sorry, 3 upon 4 it will be root of this, I am so sorry, under root of 3 by 4 r square, now it is perfectly all right under root of 3 by 4 into r that is the value of x, please do the calculations. So, the area that is exposed where we do not have any liquid is pi into x square and pi into x square, x is known, you can write it as pi 3 by 4 pi r square. So, of course, a bit difficult question, uh, but it is not something that you cannot do, uh, think about it if you have not been able to understand think about it a little more, you will be able to understand. I will just repeat in 30 seconds, so that it may help you in understanding. If the cylinder is rotated 
such that with with an angular speed such that this particular point gets exposed then the shape of the liquid surface goes like this i have taken this as origin this as x axis and this y axis and considering that i have written the equation of the surface as uh, equation of that curve as y <coughs> is omega square by 2g into x square so if you increase the angular speed if you increase the angular speed at the uh, when this happens for a container of radius r and height h the value of omega not is this much yeah. when y is h radius is r so you can calculate omega not now if you increase the omega further uh, and just imagine that you have much deeper tank much deeper container so let us imagine that at some angular speed 2 omega not this is the situation in a deep tank that means the just the bottom sur bottom surface just gets exposed at angular speed 2 omega not then this is how this situation will look agar hamare paas itna gehra tank hota 2 omega not speed pe ye shape aisa hota theek to hame ye pata lagana hai ki hamari liquid ka container to actually itna hi hai to yahan kitne area mein se pani hat gaya yahan pani hai yahan liquid hai par itne area mein nahi hai pani ka surface aisa ho gaya पानी का सरफेस एक्चुअली ऐसा होता अगर हमारे पास काफी गहरा कंटेनर होता तो मैंने ये सोचा कि कितना गहरा कंटेनर होने से ये पॉइंट जस्ट एक्सपोज होता मतलब हमने जो अभी एनालिसिस किया था वो बिल्कुल वही एनालिसिस यूज किया जा सके कितना गहरा कंटेनर होता मैंने देखा कि भाई इस केस में एक्स की वैल्यू आर होने पर वाई की वैल्यू वाई डैश हमें हमारे इसी इक्वेशन से मिल जाएगा तो क्या हमें दिया हुआ है ओमेगा के वैल्यू टू ओमेगा नाट है तो हमने वाई डैस निकाला हमें इस कंटेनर की हाइट पता चल गई फोर एच एक्चुअल कंटेनर की हाइट एच है तो ये डेप्थ एक्चुअली थ्री एच है जो कि है नहीं तो हमारा लिक्विड का सरफेस बस ऐसा है फिर से उसी इक्वेशन को यूज करके हमने वाई की वैल्यू थ्री रख के ये एक्स पता कर लिया ये कर्व का इक्वेशन यूज करके उससे हमें पता चल गया कि बॉटम सर्फेस में जो एक्सपोज सरफेस है उसका रेडियस क्या है स्टूडेंट्स इट वाज ए बिट डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन इवन नाउ इफ यू हैव सम डाउट प्लीज राइट इन कमेंट सेक्शन आई विल ट्राई टू हेल्प गुड बाय